Nicholas back today, back again. We're back with Legacy OS2. Now, last time I done this was in June, so that's coming out seven months ago, and it's a long-term support release of Legacy OS, which used to be Teen Pup back in the day, based on Puppy 2 series, and it's meant for really old hardware to keep your old machines running, but with up-to-date applications and programs. So I'm going to quickly go through it again just one more time before I come on to what I really want to talk about. Okay, so here we are. Bit of KD going down here, 3.5.4. So you get your nice little thing over here. You can also get to your internet, email, MSN chat, Skypes here. It's all on the ISO. It's about 650 megabytes to download, but everything is there for you. So you don't actually have to have an internet connection for the machine to get everything to work. So for instance, if I go to write, da -da -da -da, it's Abbey Word, but it won't be a new version, but it will work, okay? It's 245, it's an old one, okay? But it will do what you need to do. Now, also here, the only thing about using Abbey Word and Genomeric, there is no uh, presentation program normally. But here, what he's done is put K presenting on its own. Because he's got a lot of KDE stuff going down, you can do your presentations here. You get all your settings here, and your files, and import and export. And yes, it does do lots of formats, blah de blah de blah de blah. Yes, and all that. What else can I show you on here? Of course, you get Junumeric as standard there. You can get Open Office for it if you so wish to do so. I'm going to come on to that in just a bit's time, okay? Bear with me. You also get Scribus. It's an older version, but bearing in mind this is for Puppy 2 series. So it will be old, you know? Okay, so it's all there to work and it will work. Okay. So John knows, this is John in Australia, by the way, not John in America. John knows he's going to have to like, update stuff for newer machines and newer programs, etc., etc., newer kernel, etc. Okay. But also you get KTorrent, VLC, CD to MP3. It all comes on the ISO. It's all there for you. Oh, yes, indeedy. Right, that's the first bit out of the way. Okay, if we go to the internet, and we'll go here to the internet, which is Opera here, by the way. It's Opera for a change, yes. Right, this is the Puppy Linux Legacy OS page. Now, if you see here, download for free, download in 30 minutes, yes, that's possible, or three minutes, four minutes, all depending on your dependent speed, burn your ISO, ISO even, install to your hard drive, and it will run with a Pentium 3. Trust me on that one, it will. So, under a gig TPU, it will still run. I might actually had it run on a, was it a 565? Five, five? Oh, I can't remember now. Uh, about 600 meg CPU. It was a Pentium 3, by the way. Now, the old Ace, the slot A ones, with a fan on the slot, and there's like a big card. Do you remember them back in the day? Oh, those were days. And yes, you can do YouTube videos, Facebook, Twitter. Flash is already there for you, and there's updates for Flash as well. Now, what I wanted to show you, right, he's got a new one coming out. It's going to be Legacy OS 4. So this one's going to be based on the 4 series pup. So it would be more compatible with wireless devices and stuff like that. Now, what he's actually said here, it's got updates to Flash, WF MPEG, Firefox and Pigeon will now be included, and a cleaner menu, bloody, 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 blah, blah, and it's more polished, etc., etc. But I asked him if I could have a little pre-release look. He's not actually finished yet, but what the kind chap did do for me, if I go to my home folder, you see me some screenshots. Now, they don't actually look any different to here, but if you keep in mind, on the old one, we're using 26181. I'll open up the screenshot, let's have a quick look. We're going to be using 262516, okay? Oh, yes, indeedy. Oh, nicey, nicey, lovely. And you'll get all this stuff in it, as usual. I'll show you the other one as well while we're here. There we go. There's your screenshot. Make it big for you so you can see. There you go. So it doesn't actually look too much different, but it's more compatible with newer hardware, all right? So we'll be able to get some wireless devices going. Maybe Bluetooth. I won't promise that. No, won't be doing the promising. No, okay? Because I've not had a proper look yet, have I? No. Until I do, I can't say, can I? Anyway. That's the other way. I'll get rid of that. And we'll go back to our web browser. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is, if you've never used Legacy OS, and you may be thinking about it, there is other stuff for it. He's actually released some more bits and bobs to update it. So there's update packs for Java tunes, there's update packs for different fonts, GI updates, uh, and oh, you go, look. available update packs for Legacy OS 2. Let's go down and see if we can find where we can click. That's the icons, and there's the guy, so I want to go here, put that in, tab it, right, in here there's all the bits and bobs that you can get, that he's made for it, because there is no repository as such, okay, because it's based on an old pub, okay, 
So if you go to audio and video, LMS is there, in tagged, etc, etc. We'll go back. There's bug fixes, educational stuff is there too. So tax math, tax paint and tax type and G compris. That's very good for educationally types. And uh, graphics, what do we have? A lot of K stuff, okay? But it's all there if you want to download it. Extras for the internet are the updated flash players and Opera 12 Alpha, which I haven't been able to get to work just yet, actually. I was giving it a go, I just wasn't doing playing the ball with me, really. And under Office, you can get OpenOffice 3.1, okay? So if you want a bigger Office suite, that's for you. And some other stuff here as well, including Adobe Reader is there as well. We'll go back. No, we'll go back, go back, go back. And some third-party packages, which will be wine basically okay so if you want to run wine in it it can be done but don't expect the best of everything okie dokie no don't be doing that right gotcha so yeah so you can install extra stuff here as well so if you've got an old machine yeah you've got an old holy oldy one an old machine that's older than an old one this could be the baby for you oh yes indeedy legacy os2 and legacy os4 mini coming very soon sneaky a linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.